Hi guys, welcome to another amazing video after another amazing week. I have an XL box here, which means I have something really special. Check this out guys. This is a factory set. Eye of the Tiger, rose gold, yellow gold. <laughs> yellow gold! Rolex Daytona. Normally they come like this, but there are exceptions to the rule. There's a few of these in the world. Check this out, it's just amazing. Really happy to have it. Uh, it's not gonna last long. Dan, I think a great question that people would like to know. What's your opinion and speculation on perhaps the future projected value of this Eye of the Tiger versus the Rainbow Daytona? So, I always give my honest opinion. I wanna keep it real. Honestly, I don't have a crystal ball to know what the future is, but my humble opinion is if you want the Rainbow Daytona, you'd say, Pete, get me 10 of them. It'll take me a week or 10 days. I'll come up with the 10 of them. I'll find them. If you say to me, get me this Eye of the Tiger Rolex Daytona, not on the Oyster Flex bracelet, but on an 18 karat gold bracelet with diamonds, I only know of one other one in the world. And the guy's asking 200,000 more than me, and it's overseas. And I'm really well connected. I have sources, collectors, investors. There's not another one out there like that. I think the upside on this is tremendous. And in my, my experience tells me that it comes down to production time. So the Rainbow Daytona has been in production a lot longer than the Eye of the Tiger Rolex Daytona. The time is, is, is totally different. So I think the upside on this is tremendous. What would be cool is if they came up with the Leopard, the Leopard Daytona with the orange sapphire bezel, and they put that on a bracelet just like this one. I'll send them an email. I'll text <laughs> them. I'll hit them up on Instagram and tell them to do it. <laughs> you're with Moncho, and I want to give him a big shout out and a huge congrats on his brand new Patek Philippe 5711 with the white dial. This thing is an absolute beauty. And not only that, he opted to go with the 26 330 movement. He did not skimp out whatsoever. He went all the way. He got himself the full experience. Couldn't be any more happy for him. Hey, congrats, <laughs> brother. Yeah, so. yeah, this is a crazy, crazy piece. As you can see, it was factory sealed. It's an absolute full set. And um, this, is, uh, this is a beast. It's a heavy hitter for sure. took out. Brand new. We had to cut the plastic to get this one out. Much of real. Seems odd in a little bit. Well priced. Thank you for coming to us, brother. I'll for sure. Not me, not the dog, the suit. <laughs> I was like, yeah. You want, me, you want me to shoot straight from my soul? Straight from the straight soul. Straight from my hip. Guys, this is one of our clients, Raheem. Raheem, welcome to the store. Store? Yes, sir. This isn't the store. This is the holy grail of Mr. Peter Marco, the world's greatest jeweler. Wait, did you say store? Yes, I did. This is a holy grail. When you step in Mr. Marco's house, you are not stepping into a jewelry store. You are stepping into the world's greatest jewelers store now with that being said you people have heard of he hugs doesn't hold a candle to peter marco you've heard of he doesn't hold a candle to peter marco you even heard of he doesn't hold a candle to peter marco so with that being said if you want the finest diamonds you want the finest custom jewelry you want the most flawless diamonds you want the best time pieces whether it be pate felipe audemars baguette Rolex or Hublot, you have to come to that lovely man right there, Mr. Mark. My man with the flash and shirts with the billion dollar smile. And you heard it from me, Mr. Rahim. And if Mr. Rahim says it, then you need to come and talk to Mr. Peter Marco or one of his lovely sons or one of his lovely other workers out here. But you have to be ready to spend a pretty penny because nothing is cheap in Mr. Peter Marco's holy grail because you get what you pay for it. So if you want class and luxury, you have to pay that top dollar. For 
I spoke from my soul. That's how I feel. That's how I speak from my heart. I'm not just saying that because he's here. Nice to meet you. Yeah, always here for you. Nice to meet you. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm Mr. Gumbo. I'm a boutique collector, and I do have the Eye of the Tiger with the rubber strap, but I don't have that one. <laughs> wow. Yes. That's something else. There's not, I don't think there's another one in the world. I mean, I, maybe one. That I I've never seen, I've seen the Eye of the Tiger, but I've never seen it. That's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it on strap, but I've never on a bracelet like that. That's crazy. It's a pretty number, too. That camera on my face. You know, <laughs> you know he beat me up today. You know what's gonna happen? All the girls are gonna call me now. Wanted to know who he is. <laughs> very married man. Yeah. Very married man. All right, there you go. <laughs> hey guys, I'm here with my boy Maxim. Hey guys. He, all the way from Canada, he just purchased his first yeah. Rolex. He yeah. stepped it up. He didn't do a white face or a black face. He did a blue face, which is the most popular. He has the matching shirt. He's just all ready to go. His first Rolex, first big purchase. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, thank you, man. All right. Appreciate it. Guys, I've been in this business for 45 years, and I've had a lot of great stories and experiences. This week was just crazy for me. I had T Grizzly come in. We did a video in the store. Um, there was money flying. There was jewelry all over the place. There was just, he's just such an incredible soul. He's a good man. He gave me an opportunity to be in his music video, and I'm grateful for that. And then I had Ronald Isley. He called me up. He's also a client of ours, and uh, you know, the guy's been in the music business. He's a legend. He's a, he's a goat, you know. Um, been around a long time, and he's, uh, he's just recently did some songs with uh, Two Chains, and he did a song with Snoop Dogg. Um, and the guy called me up, we're, we're pretty close friends, and he says, Pete, I need you to be in my video. So uh, I was with him in his video with his wife, and um, again, incredible time. He's just a class act. And then I had my girl Regan. She called me up, and uh, you'll see the video. She put me in her video as well. It's in the store. We had a lot of fun. I'm really proud of her. She's come a long way, and uh, I want you to keep up the good work, Regan. And uh, just crazy, crazy week, uh, crazy experiences, and I got more to come. Thank you. Guys, closing out another great week, and it's story time. So, this story has to do with um, laying the proper groundwork as a young man. Um, and sticking to your values and your morals through life. This was a test period in my life. And it's a good story. Um, as, I, as you know, I was 14 years old and I got a job um, cleaning for a very big jewelry manufacturing company in Manhattan. It was a really a high-end company, very, very fine. And they needed someone for the, com for the summer to go up there and uh, you know, make deliveries and uh, vacuum and dust and Windex. So um, after about a month or so, I guess the owner, being a very smart businessman, wanted to test my honesty and my integrity. So he asked me to go in his office and vacuum his office. And I said, yes, sir. What he didn't tell me is that he put a 10-carat diamond on the floor. A 10-carat diamond. So he told me to go vacuum it, and he made sure he stepped out. And because of the noise, he made sure the doors were closed in his office. And this is going back to 1976, 1976, yeah, where there was no cameras all over the place. This is just, you're in there. And I'm vacuuming, I'm vacuuming, he had a very big office, and I'm vacuuming, I'm vacuuming, and all of a sudden I look down and I'm like, and I look, and I bend down and I pick it up, and I'm human. For that fraction of the second, back then, this was, a, this was like a million dollars to me. It was a 10 carat diamond, he only had the best. And I looked at it, and for that second I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna keep it, no one knows about it. Um, but I said, no, that's not the right thing to do. And I probably 
If you know my story, I wouldn't be here today because what I did is I finished vacuuming the office and I went outside then and I said, his name was Met, and I said, Met, I found this on the floor. And he just looked at me with total respect and at that moment he knew he could trust me. And because of that moment of honesty, he then gave me the opportunity to be a messenger boy and then a jeweler and a polisher and a setter. And then I went in the production department and then I went on the road traveling the whole world for him for 25 years. And I made an incredible living. But had I kept that stone and he know, knew it, I would have been let go and fired. So I made the right decision then and I stuck to my values and my morals and I stuck to, I chose the, the side of right and to be honest. And it paid off. So keep that in mind as you go through life. Always keep honesty. Thank you. And if you would have kept it, you would have had to give, given it back anyways, huh? I would have had to give it back <laughs> and I would have lost my job and probably I wouldn't be here today because that was the foundation for where I am today. Hey guys, another incredible week, lots of fun, lots of recording, videos, lots of business, bringing a lot of happiness to a lot of people, had a lot of people crying happy tears in the store, um, a lot of guys getting emotional, bringing a lot of happiness and love to the people. Anyway, great week, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, click, switch, press the button, scroll down, do it all. Appreciate you, good night.